Welcome back. Yeah. Teresa Clayton is here, and she's going to be talking about the Caregiver and Aging Conference that's coming up. Where's the conference going to be? Um, it's at the Center Campus at the North Arkansas College in the Drand okay. Center. Oh, in the Drand Center, okay. So and, I'm sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. Well, it's not until September 20th, so you don't have to okay. run right out today, but we are taking reservations. And what kind of conference will it be? Um, well, it's an, a caregiver and aging conference, mm -hmm. um, and so there's several different uh, topics at, at each day. Uh, there's two different days. So we're going to have a keynote speaker is uh, Dr. David Dosa from Providence, Rhode Island, and he works in the Steer House Nursing and Rehab Center there in Providence, uh -huh. and um, he's famous for uh, writing a book. So we have the book. It's uh, okay. making making rounds with Oscar, the extraordinary gift of an ordinary cat and so okay. you can get that at the Boone County Library but they'll okay. also have books available for purchase and then he's mm -hmm. also going to be signing, signing them but um, so he's going to be the keynote speaker on Friday on Thursday um, we have several different topics um, for CNAs or patient care assistants or family caregivers because there's um, a lot of that I mean there's a lot right. of family that care so we mm -hmm. we will eventually be caregivers before this is exactly. over. Mm -hmm. So um, my husband and I, we took care of uh, his parents for two years. He quit his job and they stayed in our house. So you just never know what's going to happen in your own family. That's, right. mm -hmm. um, and so this information is for the CNAs, patient care assistants. Um, Thursday is going to be $10 for the whole day. It covers uh, the food for lunch and then uh, breaks and then the information that you're going to receive. So the topics are fall prevention, restraint alternatives, uh, pressure ulcer prevention, which mm -hmm. is a big deal when you're in the bed a long time, infection control, um, care of clients with Alzheimer's disease. So we were talking about the artists, you know, so different things that you can do to keep yes. them happy. And then the culture change of, of having your own existence and now you're in a, an area, so mm -hmm. a long-term care. Um, this uh, Caregiver and Aging Conference is sponsored by uh, NAFI, which is what I work for, the okay. North Arkansas right. Partnership for health education. So uh, we have uh, different health topics that we uh, work with, um, including substance abuse prevention, uh, teen parenting, tobacco education, healthy kids, mm -hmm. healthy Ozarks. Mm -hmm. And then our other thing is we do the CNAs uh, classes at the North Campus. And mm -hmm. then, oh, okay. um, so we are NAFI, North Arkansas Partnership for Health Education. We partner with the hospital here in Harrison. So that's the North Arkansas Regional Medical Center and then the North Arkansas College all make up NAFI. And then for this conference, we are also working with the Area Agency on Aging of mm -hmm. Northwest Arkansas and the Schmeiding Center for Senior Health and Education. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's... So it's a big collaborative. It's a huge, uh, um, yeah, collaboration. And then we also work with the Health Department and the DHS throughout NAFI. And now, I want to ask, since the CNA is and that type of thing, and they have to have continuing education, is there some credits that will yes. go along with this? Um, NAFI used to be called AHEC Northwest, yes. so um, we are approved provider of continuing nursing education um, by the Arkansas Nurse Association. So Friday's classes will count for credits. Okay. Um, and what level? CNAs up or on Friday we're requesting the target audience be RNs, LPNs, social okay. workers, um, case managers, uh, the nursing home staff, and then licensed professional counselors. In addition to the regular citizens population that would be interested in elder care. Now, okay. is there a point where you can get too many people coming to this conference, or is it? Open the Duran Center holds uh, like 500, okay. so that would so be no. really nice to have everybody. Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. to pre-register, and the number will be on the screen where you can register. Right. And then um, we also have Thursday night, so Thursday's going to be mostly caregiver, CNA, prim uh, patient care, and then Friday is going to be the RNLPN, so it's going to be more clinical topics. Right. And so Thursday night, they're going to have a book signing, which is sponsored by the hospital. And that's going to be at the Hotel Seville. Uh, you have to RSVP early for that because okay. it is limited space. Mm -hmm. And so they want to know how many to count on for that. Um, it's 730 that Thursday. And uh, you meet the author in a book signing. And then that's mm -hmm. where they'll be selling the books as well. What's the food? Wow. Um, well, Thursday is $10 and Friday is $60. 60 um, 60 Yep. Very reasonable. Yeah, and that's so. And it's an uh, all-day event, and exactly. uh, so it's it sounds exciting to me. Um, the book "Making Rounds with Oscar" talks about how the cat 
has been at this uh, nursing home rehab for several years and then when it's the end of, of life for certain people, he would go in and comfort the family and it was like he knew what was gonna happen. Right. And hmm. so the, the book talks about Oscar, but the main topic is more um, how to make people aware of, of the things that are gonna happen that you have to make decisions for. And uh, you know, so uh, my mom is in rehab right now and there's just a lot of things you just don't think of. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and so um, it is to help everybody in addition to the healthcare providers that are used to this topic. Well, everyone can benefit from it. Right. From that Tell topic. us again the date. Uh, September 20th and 21st, so it's Thursday and Friday um, at mm -hmm. the Duran Center, Center Campus, North Arkansas College. Okay, and you can uh, register online or just register? Uh, probably just through the phone. Just through the phone, okay. And, <laughs> and we've got the phone information up right. on the screen. There, uh, it is. there it is. And mm -hmm. we'll have more information at the end of the show. Anything else you need yeah. to add? Um, well, NAFI, we work with the, the different groups. Um, so I have done the tobacco education. So I go around to the schools and talk to the kids about how tobacco affects the whole body. It's not just the lungs. You know, everybody thinks of lung cancer. Mm -hmm. So um, we have websites for our different programs. Um, we are Tobacco Free Boone County Dash Arkansas on Facebook. And then we have the Thrive Circle of Life also has a Facebook page. Uh, we work with pregnant teenagers or parenting teenagers um, all the way up to the age 25 okay. and so they give them support and parenting mm -hmm. uh, classes uh, things like that and then the substance abuse prevention coalition which is um, each region <coughs> in Arkansas has one so we're region two and we have um, this coming Friday at the Duran Center we're gonna have a thing for the tobacco education about how the new health care is going to affect um, businesses that allow people to use tobacco products on their properties. And, and okay. um, so it's, uh, that is this Friday the 3rd from 11 to 1, and you already had to register for it, but okay. um, there's information. You know, we have programs every, it seems like every week there's something going on. We work with the Community Health Resource mm -hmm. Center, which is like a health library. If you have any health, um, issues that come up such as diabetes, Parkinson's, you can go down to the CHRC at the center campus on the first floor and then um, they have just books that you can check out, they have people that they can recommend to you, we have, you know, we work with the Area Agency on Aging, um, there's laptops, uh, PCs down there that you can use to find out information. Uh, so NAFI's is not well known I don't think, um, you know, but uh, we have a lot of things that can help people. Definitely. Okay. Uh, then we have the Hometown Health Coalition, which is the Boone County Health Unit. Um, we partner with that and we meet once a month uh, at the Duran Center and we talk about um, health related topics. Um, like one of the things is housing. We're doing a survey around town trying to find out how many people live in the area, have health insurance mm -hmm. and different things. These will, this information is gonna be used to help us get further grants. And so there's just a lot of things going on in the area that we work with. And okay. you, as you said, it's not a well-known right. entity, but you do a lot. We do a lot. So people yeah. need to know that this is, right. that you're there. We, pretty much we work on all grants. And so um, we try to use the money t to do the education topics. You know, we, exactly. we're not millionaires. You know, we, we want to help people learn about their health and right. to improve it. So um, one of the things the CHRC has is how much sugar is in your drink and they, there's a promotion rethink, rethink your drink um, mm -hmm. because you don't realize how many spoons full of sugar is right. in a Coke or in orange juice. You know, it's a natural. Okay, how much? How many? Well, yeah. the you'd, have to, go to, no, you'd okay. have to go to the CHRC and talk to Holly. So, okay. Um, but that's one of the things that we do because like a a uh, it's a yeah, lot. It's a lot of sugar. And Gatorade, uh, Red Bull, you know, there's tons and tons of sugar. And, uh -huh. and uh, it, uh, just like with tobacco, it affects your entire body because it goes through the bloodstream and your right. blood flows to your fingers and Mm -hmm. The whole body, not just, you know, you think, uh, like I was saying, like lung cancer, you know, but uh, tobacco mm -hmm. causes um, cervical cancer, uh, bladder cancer, you know, osteoporosis, uh, just tons of things that you just don't even think about. Yep. And so uh, the information is out there and we can help people if they have questions. And your office is located in the center campus on the first third, third, oh, third floor. Third floor, okay. The NAFI offices are on the third floor. The okay. CHRC is on the first floor. Okay. It's, yeah. it's all glass and right by the okay. front door. 
will stop in and, well, and say, say hi to Teresa if you're there and she, maybe she can give you some more information. And I guess if they need more information on this conference, <coughs> you would be the one to contact? I would be a person to contact, uh -huh. but uh, just to <laughs> maybe not the, the person. person. Um, well, we have multiple people that are okay. working with it. Uh, Monica, Cindy, you know, Holly, anyone they can just yeah, ask. When everybody's going to be working on it. So okay, um, right. And so this Dr. Gosa, he is an expert in, in geriatrics, dementia, nursing home care, and end of life care. And so um, he'll be a great speaker for Friday, and then we have others that will be speaking on Thursday as well. So. All right. Okay. Thanks, Teresa. Thank you. Right. If you'd like Thanks more information, me. you can contact uh, NAFI or stop by the end or just watch the end of the program. We'll give you more contact information there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Up next, we'll take our uh, final break, and when we come back, we'll be talking with Charles Chappelle from the CNC Images. We've got a lot of his work here. We'll see what he has to show us. Stay with us.